Now we're working new details on a destructive house fire. 17 people were forced to find a new place to live after their home caught fire during a birthday party. Days later, we've discovered thieves returned to the scene to steal whatever was left. Eyewitness News reporter Alex DePrado is live in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. Alex. Well, Karen, there was one apartment in this building that was really hit hard by these thieves. It's where a mother and her six children live. The fire, now the thieves have been a one-two punch. And we just heard like a psh, and it was like a, sounded like a backdraft, like wind. And we turned around and looked, and the, the grill was on fire, and it was catching to the house. And within 20 seconds, it was all the way up at the roof. It was a grill fire during a birthday party Saturday for two of Jessica Jongaliti's boys, which did the damage to her Akushnan Avenue home. What we didn't lose in the fire, we lost to people stealing. But while she and her six kids were staying at a friend's home, thieves went to work. They pushed in an air conditioner through a first floor window and broke into her apartment. They were looting in my apartment like it was a store, like a store caught on fire. They went upstairs and helped themselves to whatever they wanted. The thieves made off with a plasma TV, school clothes, a camera, and even the birthday presents she bought for her two boys. I had a plasma on the wall hanging in my kids' room, and they screwed, they screwed, unscrewed it out of the wall to take the whole bracket and everything. Changalides and her children left with pretty much nothing. It took me 13 years to get where I was at, to lose it, half of it to a fire, the other half to being stolen. The Salvation Army is collecting donations for the family. It's located at 619 Purchase Street here in New Bedford. And that's where we're live tonight with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.